All right, in this video, I'm going to go over some of the basic functions in KOWP. This video is for those of you who are just starting with the app. Make sure you check out my uh, KOWP for Beginners playlist. It does have a little bit of age on it now, so some things make a, may look a little bit different on your app. But now this is, you know, uh, November 19th, 2016. The app has changed quite a bit since I did the tutorial series, but I did get a request on like, the functions, um, you know, dates, times, weather, and things like that. And one place, just in case you haven't been here, this is the best place to go to get all the functions because um, the app does not show you all of the functions that are actually uh, built into KOWP. So go over to help.custom.rocks, and when you get to this website, if you scroll down a little bit, um, you have this little functions link, and they have them all right here. But if I click on functions right there, and, you know, all of these are the functions that are built into KOWP. Now, um, we can go through each one of these in this video, which I'm not going to do, but I want to give you some basic overviews of how to work with them and things like that. So let's just go ahead and add a text item in KOWP, and I'm going to have bump the size up a little bit so we can see it, and I'm going to tap on that. So those functions that we have here are the functions that you'll see built into the app itself, but like, let me go ahead and show you something, for example. Let me go to DF. And let me change my settings here to where this is always going to be on top. That way that won't go away. All right. Now some of these, if I go to DF inside of KOWP, you know, we have some functions listed here, but I think some of them are missing. For example, uh, if I come on down here to the bottom, like O, that lowercase O, if I scroll through here, is that... Yeah, see what I'm saying? I don't see DF lowercase o. So um, the old versions of KOWP did have these things um, down here at the end of the list, but I, I don't know why they're not there anymore. Nonetheless, what we can do is we can kind of mess around it and throw these new pieces into it. For example, DFHH uh, colon MM colon SS. That's going to show um, hours, minutes, seconds. And you can actually reverse the order around on this. So I'm just going to do uh, SS MM. HH. And if I check that, now what's going to happen, um, the seconds are going to be first, um, the minutes are going to be here since I put the MM and then the hours over here. So it's seven seconds, uh, seven minutes after four. And as you can see, it does say 4.07 p.m. up there. So that's one thing you can do inside of the function. You don't have to do uh, that function that's exactly given to you down here. For example, if I, hold my, if I hold my mouse down on that, notice it did change the code up here. That's something else for you too. If you see a function that you like, and like I want to override this, if I just hold down on that right there, boom, it'll throw it in there. And that's something else to point out to you as well. The padding. Padding of zero means, okay, you're not going to tell a difference now whether I put two H's here or not. Oh, well, yes, yes, you will actually, my bad. Um, but notice if I throw two H's up there, it's going to give you a padding of zero because it's like 0407. But if I take away one of those H's, whenever it's a single hour, such as four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, eight, nine, all those, it's not going to throw a zero out in front. Same thing can happen to the minutes. So now it says four, seven. Hmm, I don't like that. So that's one where you definitely want to keep the padding of zero on your minutes. Now, let's see. Okay, like I said, we were missing the lowercase o. So let's come in here and change this code. Let's leave it as df because all of these functions inside of here use df. So I'm thinking of it as a date format, I guess you can say. If I put a lowercase o in here, notice 30 pops up because let's look at lowercase o. And lowercase o is going to tell you the number of days in the current month. That can be very helpful when you're making calendars, um, when you're making some type of clock, when you're trying to base it on degrees. Of course, that's prop that may be uh, a little bit crazy if you're just getting into this app right now. But, and it comes with time. But, um, you know, there's the O. What's some other things? I mean, look through these. Week of the month, capital F. Capital F is the third week of November. I don't think there's a capital F anywhere down here. So um, there's a lowercase f. Lowercase f is ISO day of the week, and that's also what it says right here, um, where Monday equals 1. So that's hopefully something that's going to point you over to this website. There are functions in here that are on this website that if you didn't go to this website and look at all these different pieces, you would, you'd miss out on them. So go ahead and check out this website and check out the functions. Now some other things that we can do as well, um, let me scroll and let me find one where, okay, so tomorrow's short day name. 
First of all, I'm going to take away the A1D. And right now it says SAT. If I make it four capital E's, it's going to give me the long day. If I make it three, it's going to make it a short day. That's just how this works. Now, if I advance one day, that's how I like to think about it. Notice if today's Saturday, that means if we advance one day, it'll be Sunday. What about if we advance two days? It'll be Monday. Advance three days, that'll be Tuesday. Well, what about if we want to rewind? Today is Saturday, so let's rewind one day, and this will take us back to Friday. Let's rewind two days. So this can be also helpful when you're making calendars, weekly calendars, or what have you later on down the road. Um, and it also mentions that down here, add, remove. So add one day, remove one day. I said advance, but it, it technically right here it says add and remove. However you want to think about that. So just a few pointers there when you're working with your functions. And again, I'm just still staying inside of my DF piece. But if I back up, let's go back a page to where we had all our functions. Um, what's some other things that are worth scrolling through in here? Well, actually everything, to be honest with you, just to make sure you, you don't miss out on certain pieces. Um, what about battery info? Let's go to battery info, B-I. And I'm going to back out of here, and I'm going to go down to my battery info. That's going to be this uh, function there. So I'm going to hold down, and notice now the Thursday is going to go away because I was re uh, removing two days from today's date or today, the day of the week. If I hold this down, it automatically uh, replaces it. If you want to not replace it, you can just tap it. If I tap that right there, um, notice it didn't replace the 44%, but if I come and hold down on something, it takes away everything that's in the code up there, the formula editor. So battery level 44% on my device right now. You can look through here like Volt. Let's see, is Volt, okay, Volt is given to us up here. Are there some things that we're missing out on? Maybe not so much here, but something that I like to uh, do when I'm, I make a battery graph, I have a battery graph available, plus there's plenty out there available. Um, we can get our battery percentage by removing, or I think of it as rewinding 30 minutes ago. What was my battery level 30 minutes ago? It was at 46%. Or 46 what about um, 60 minutes ago? 60 minutes ago, it was at 48%. Now, can we rewind hours? Sure, let's try. Instead of rewinding 60 minutes, let's rewind one hour, and it's still giving me that same 48% as I got when it was 60 minutes ago. So it's really the same thing, but just throwing it out there that you can um, go minutes or hours, as it's mentioned right here. So sometimes it's good to you know read the fine print on these uh, pieces here when you're looking at developing a function in KLWP. Uh, I mean, I could, I could keep on going, going through all these things. I'm just, you know, doing this off the seat of my pants. I did have a request for this video. I think it's very useful to check out this website, to um, scroll through these, make sure you're not missing out on anything, and, um, you know, have this open up, play around on your device, and see how you can manipulate these codes very quickly. If you have any questions, leave a, uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Um, visit my website, idomath.weebly.com slash KLWP. And again, that is idomath.weebly.com slash KLWP. Um, that is where I have tons of tutorials um, already there, and you can make a request there as well. And there you have it. That's a basic overview of functions. Please check out help.custom.rocks for more information on functions. And that is it for this video. I hope it helped.